BSA built thousands of these bikes. It's a B31, a 350cc four-stroke single. It has telescopic forks at the front and at the rear there's a rigidly mounted axle. It's a so-called tele-rigid. Only the sprung saddle provides comfort for the rider, but this is really quite effective. Any pillion passenger had to make do with a pad on the rear mudguard, though on this example that's been replaced with a carrier rack. There's no ignition switch on these old bikes. You just turn on the petrol tap, prime the carb if necessary, and kick start it. The joy of these old machines is that they have low saddles and they're relatively light. They quickly inspire confidence and are easy to handle. According to a 1946 review in Motorcycling Magazine, the B31 is rapid and economical. Early examples are light and have decent acceleration. It has a BSA six spring clutch and the early B31 gearbox. This was only made until 1948. Later B31s shared a gearbox with the BSA M series bikes for which spares are easier to obtain. The tele rigid suspension can give a lively ride on country roads but never unduly so. combination of bounce and engine noise make it great fun. Like many old machines, this one took time to sort out. Almost everything needed attention. The big end bearing was replaced, the gearbox was rebuilt and so on. But given time it's possible to sort out these old motorcycles and they'll give reliable service, taking the rider to all sorts of places. You can even go camping with a B31. These long stroke singles are different to modern designs. They provide plenty of torque even at low revs and will plonk along in top gear. It's very relaxing. Often old bikes have discrete modifications. Although this example still has a Lucas Mag Dyno, the voltage regulator is a modern electronic device and the carburetor is now an Amal concentric. These upgrades help the machine to perform well and to be reliable. When turning left or right, hand signals are necessary because there are no indicators. Old bikes like this B31 provide a novel riding experience even in towns and villages. A B31 may be slower than a modern bike but it's still a good tourer if somewhat leisurely. It's certainly at home on British byways. Whether you go south for sunshine or north of Hadrian's Wall a B31 will take you there and back. For a first classic bike you can't do better than a single cylinder machine from the 1940s or 50s. They're relatively simple and easy to repair at home. They were made for riding and you can have plenty of fun doing just that.